Ladies and gentlemen, we just took the Belcher Mine Tour. We're in the Ponderosa Saloon. Nothing but good times here. And I just want to show you guys, I have some of the 1800 Colt guns. There's a Winchester up above. Look at that, a Marlin, 1908. Alan Hopkins, Fred Garrett. Even an old sword, look at that. And lanterns, wonderful pieces of history. And these are some of the local minerals found here. For example, Clint Garrett pyrites. Uh, I've seen, for example, the cinder we've seen on hikes. We've seen, it says crystal. We've seen crystal on some of our hikes. Uh, I've not seen this, tourmaline. I've seen this, the copper. As a matter of fact, last week, I Last week we had found some copper pieces like that. Petrified logs. This just gives you an idea. Iron ore, iron pyrite. Most of these that you see here, we've seen on hikes. In mines protruding out of the walls. Here you go, fluorite burite. Almost looks like a volcanic rock, but it's not. A lot of minerals were extracted from Virginia City in the Comstock, but some of those were extracted in other areas. But you can see this is the vault. The original one built by the Bank of California opened its doors in 1864. The vault, 1,042 square cubic square feet is lined from seal on the floor with one half inch steel plate erected into place. The outside walls are two feet thick and around the vault. The bank played a big role in the development of the Comstock load and financing Virginia City's great gold and silver boom. During its heyday, millions in gold and silver were stored in this old vault. The vault was robbed of 32,000 in broad daylight in 1927, October 25th, by armed bank robbers who were captured shortly after. Much of the loot was never recovered and remains in a hidden catch. It is set in the hills around Six Mile Canyon. Let's take a little look into the vault just to show you guys what a real vault looks like. It echoes a little bit. You can see there's an old safe, your safety deposit boxes. And yes, there's been a few vaults. It says this one here, three vaults occupied the Bank of California built in 1864. One identical to this adjoined it and one was underground. They each stored millions in gold and silver and paper money, coin and jewelry throughout the heyday and the Comstock load. It was finally closed its doors in the 1930s. Enjoy a mine tour through the underground vault into the gold diggings. And this is the Union Mine, which we've also been to the remnants or the foundation. So everything's connected. Here's the old dollar bill and the coins were very large with some gold and silver. And you have a nice, look at that nice piece of gold spinning around. And there are a few bank robber stories where the bank robbers physically robbed these vaults. And right away they went to Six Mile Canyon or the, near the ghost town of Ramsey and they buried their loot. And today people are still looking for millions of dollars in treasures, three, four treasure areas. And finding that loot, it's going to be real hard because nobody knows where that loot is. But I've run some EVPs. Uh, this is our holiday investigation. This is what it looks like today, the, the Ponderosa. Uh, still the old original floors. It was untouched by the fire, so it's definitely a classic place. Definitely. And I love it. There's Samuel Clemens. HCP Comstock. James Fenimore. There's Virginia City before the fire. And Madame Julia Bulet, who was murdered for her jewels by John Millian in 1861, who was hung in 1868 at Boot Hill, which is now the current cemetery. A lot of history, man. And we can actually say we've investigated the Ponderosa Saloon and Belcher Mine. This is Lord Rick. Oh, and one other thing I want to show you, besides the old antique lamps, you also have... Excuse me. These beauties right here. 
It's very old. I mean, if you really have the time to look, here's the Bank of California before it became, I guess, the Ponda Rosa. But there's a lot of old time photos of the mines, the railroad, the miners, rawhide. Doesn't even exist. A mining company bought it and destroyed even the cemetery. I'm almost done. This is old Virginia City. This is what it looked like before the Great Fire 1875. It had a couple thousand buildings that burned. He had a population of 10 to 20,000. But I'll show you some of the old photos and then I'm out of here. And every holiday we come by because Virginia City is so decorated. But you can see, look at the old lamps. They don't make this anymore. These, these deer are gorgeous. Antelopes. Those are antelopes. That's what we've seen in Star City and what I filmed when I went up in that region with Sue when she came out to visit. You won't want to go face to face with these. These are elk. There's a boar, an elk, and a deer, a buck. But I'll go over real quick and show you. This is what it looked like under the mine. It was teared. The flume, which goes from Carson, and then he ship it from the railroad. And if you really want to get technical, drift drill, which I took a photo of. It's kind of hard to see it with the reflection. Sorry about that. Hoisting cage, we've seen one of those in some mines. War bucket, we've seen plenty of those. But I mean, this is old school. These people were miners. And you can see it. These mills were like warehouses. They had smokestacks and today, new yellow jacket shaft. None of that mill remains. It's just a bunch of concrete foundations. It's the Wild West. This is what it's all about. Guns and swords. Look at the old firefighter's helmet. Old lamps. The safe? I mean, it's just amazing. Why wouldn't I film this for you guys? This is what it's about, man. Welcome to the Ponderosa and the Belcher Mine. It was made in Cincinnati and San Francisco. This is old school. Look at that. Two inches thick. Amazing. Just totally amazing. One last look. I bet you there's some hauntings that go on here at night. This is creepy enough. The old miner. 50 cents. Tell your fortune. You just put in, look, Gemini. That's me. And it tells your fortune. So anyways, folks, I think we're out of here. It's just a small holiday investigation into Virginia City's historic sites. This is a major one. So every year we do pick a historic site every time around Christmas and get an idea of more and more of what Virginia City is about in the Comstock. I want to thank you for watching. We're out of here. I hope I got some EVPs. I don't know if I got any EMF. There's too many floodlights. But it's still worth a try. Check us out. www.paranormalghostsociety.org